Welcome to another free tip of the day video tutorial brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. My name is Richard Rost. In today's tip, I'm going to show you how to use the default value field property in your tables to automatically insert the current date and time whenever you create a new record. I'm going to show you how to build a simple work log where the date time field is automatically updated every time you create a new record. I will be using Access 2010, but this tip works for every version of Access. Here I have a database with a simple work log table. It's an ID, a date time field, and a description. This is so I can track each bit of work I did and what time I started. A quick look at design view shows me my ID and auto number, a date time field, and a description which is simple text. Now if I want to add a new entry, I click down here on the date time field. I could use the date picker to pick a date and time, but then I have to type in the time as well. So let's say 2 p.m. and then type in what I did. Let's say installed network. And now when it's time for the next one, again, I can use the date picker or I have to type in 523, 3 p.m., built database. Entering in these dates and times is a bit laborious. Wouldn't it be nice if Access could automatically insert the date and time there for me whenever I create a new record? To do that, we can use a field property called the default value. Let's go back into design mode. I'll click on the design button up here. Click on the date time field and notice all of the field properties down here. I've already put in a custom format to show the date and time the way that I want to see it. Now let's set a default value. The default value is the value that starts in that field whenever you create a new record. You can change it if you want to, but this is the value that the field is given to start with. Now normally you can put a regular value in there like 25 or January 1st, but we want the current date and time. Now if I just wanted the current date, I can put in here the word date followed by an open and close parentheses. Press enter. That is the date function. A function essentially returns some data to you and the date function is Access's way of giving you the current date. Let's switch back over to data sheet view. Access warns us that we have to save the table first. I'll say yes. And now you can see down here for our new blank record Access has already inserted the current date for us. Now since the date function only returns the date, not the time, it puts the date at midnight. How do we insert the current date and time? Well, let's go back to datasheet view again. And instead of the date function, let's change this to now. The now function inserts the current date and time. So save your table. I'll hit Control S for save and then switch back over to data sheet view. And there you can see the new record on the bottom gets the current date and time. Now I can type in another item, fixed computer. And as I move down to the next record, the current date and time is inserted automatically for me. So that's one of the benefits of using the default value field property. If you enjoyed this video, I cover lots more topics just like it in my Access Beginner Level 3 video tutorial. I cover most of the popular field properties including field size, caption and description, the format property, decimal places, setting up input masks, lots more with the default value property. I only covered one tip today, but I cover a couple more examples in the full tutorial. Using the validation rule and validation text so you can set up specific types of data and ranges of values that can go into your fields and using inequalities. The full tutorial is over an hour long and it's only $9.99. For more information on this and all of my other Access courses, visit my website at accesslearningzone.com. Don't forget to follow me on YouTube, Facebook, and Twitter. I'll make sure to notify you each time a new tutorial or a free tip video is released. Thanks for watching.